Well, hello. I'm excited today. I'm excited. Come on in. Let's see who is here today on a Friday. I'm excited today. I'm excited. I am so excited today as we are in day 40, 40, 40 of this prayer challenge. If you have been here for all 40 days, I'm so excited about that. If you have only been here for a few, I'm excited about that too, that you're here today. So I appreciate the fact that you are here on the prayer challenge. Let me say this. <clears throat> Boy, my throat was a little dry. Today's Friday and it's National Dessert Day. So I think it's kind of appropriate that today we're studying Genesis, the 43rd chapter and the 29th verse. It's probably the C section of it, you know, that I really want to concentrate on. Joseph, you know, has asked that his brother Benjamin does come back and, you know, uh, his father does send him, you know, his father doesn't know that Joseph's still alive and his brothers are really worried about what's going to happen. And they're trying to figure out all kinds of things. But um, he looked up, he saw his brother Joseph, it says, and is this your youngest brother that you uh, told me about? And he said, here's where we want to land today. May God be gracious to you, my son. May God be gracious to you. That's what I want for today. I want us to concentrate on the graciousness of God. What do I mean by God being gracious? When we talk about grace, in many instances, we will initially say it's unmerited favor, where God gives us something that we don't deserve. We didn't work for it. We didn't earn it. We recognize that we are saved by grace through faith. The graciousness of God allows us to enter into another relationship with him because that relationship was severed in the garden with Adam. And so he is so gracious that he gives us the opportunities. He opens doors. He does things that we know it's nothing but his favor. And we can kind of favor, but it says it's unmerited. We did not earn it. All right. But if you look deeper, a deeper understanding of graciousness is where God's grace is on your life. He allows you to do what you could not do with any amount of human effort. He endows you. He blesses you. He immerses you. He empowers you. He equips you when you didn't even ask for it. Mm. The graciousness of God. So that's what we're praying for today that his grace, and that's what I'm praying for you, that his grace will settle on you, that you will be aware of it, that you will be able to walk in it, that there'll be no more frustration, no stress, no struggle, no strain, no nothing, because you're walking in the grace of God. So let's go ahead and bow. Most gracious, <laughs> most gracious and heavenly father, we do thank you. You have given us so much, Lord, that we did not earn, we did not deserve, but because of your love for us, you have just poured out your love on us, your favor. You have opened doors. You have given us opportunities. And Lord, we thank you for your graciousness. Today, it is like having dessert, that we get something special. It's almost like us going to a restaurant, having a great meal, feeling really full, and then there's a cake that's brought out or a cheesecake that's brought out or something, a pie. And that's what your graciousness is like. It's like that extra flavor, that extra favor that's added at the end of a meal that you didn't even know was coming. And sometimes you even put a candle on it. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your graciousness to each and every one of us. And I'm asking, I'm specifically praying for your grace to be upon the lives of so many. I've got some friends who have recently lost mothers and I'm praying for them. Not, hmm. yes, I'm going to mention names. I'm praying for Dante and Rone, for the Joneses. I thank you, Lord, for their mother, Joanna. And I, I thank you for all the people that she has influenced and I ask that your grace rest upon them to get through these next few months and years without parents. 
And I'm also praying for those who have lost their parents, both parents, and they are sometimes in this season of, as one of my friends, Dawn says, an ocean moment. I'm praying for Dawn. <clears throat> Lord, I ask that your grace rest upon her as well. <clears throat> that as she goes through the day, Lord, that you will show her favor. You will open doors that no man can shut and that you would allow her a peace that surpasses understanding. <clears throat> I pray for my friend Terry <clears throat> and losing her spouse, Johnny, just recently. Lord, I pray a special blessing upon her and her family, upon Jen and upon Jasmine, that Lord, you will look out for them and that you will open opportunities for them, show them your grace, not only to get through the day, but even in the bills that do come, even in the places that they're trying to go, even in the opportunities for ministry that are opening up for them. God, let your treasure rest upon them and let your grace go before them in everything that they do. For my friend, uh, Dr. Jasmine, that her brother is in the hospital in Jamaica. I pray for her too, Lord, that you would give her the grace, traveling mercies and grace to get to see him and to see the rest of the family. God, I pray for all of my friends that are going through some issues and turmoils and those that are starting the divorce process. I'm not mentioning their names, but God, you know them. They need grace to get through this. For those who are now newly widowed, God, I pray for grace for them to handle even the people who mean well, but they say the wrong things. Give them a gracious nature, O oh Lord, that as they speak, their words will be seasoned with salt and grace. Lord, let your graciousness, let us one, be aware of it. Let us two, appreciate it, but let it also flow in our lives so that as we then speak to others, they will recognize your grace upon us to do what we could not do with every amount of human effort. Because honestly, Lord, the gifts that you have given us, we couldn't have manufactured even if someone wants to call it a natural talent or gift, you gave it, you handpicked us, you wove us together, you uniquely designed each and every one of us. And there are those who need us today, need to hear our voice, need to hear our encouragement, need to know that we're praying for them. God, I thank you that you've given us this opportunity for those of us who have come together today. I pray for those that are on this call. I give them an extra special blessing, a heaping helping of grace. We're so thankful for you and your love that you continue to show to each and every one of us. We're so appreciative of your mighty works. But today, God, we want your presence to rest on us, settle on us, dwell within the atmosphere of wherever we walk. Let us see your grace evident in everything that we do today. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Well, God bless each and every one of you. Oh, wow. It is Friday. And uh, I'm not sure if my friend Yamel is here. I know um, Asker always jumps on and says hello. And Godfrey jumps on and says hello. And there's so many of you that are here. Um, I just pray. Uh, I need, I ask God for his grace and he always gives me his grace whenever I'm writing. And I'm in the process of finishing up the seventh book. Yes, I said seven. Uh, I think I'm going to stop there. Don't know if God has another plan, but this one is on prayer. And so these 40 days of prayer have been ooh, awesome for me. And I hope it's been awesome for you as well. I'm getting ready to put up a page for you to be able to register, to be notified as soon as it does come out. I say November, I'm still holding to that November. I've got some work to do on it because I really want it to be representative of what God would want me to put out to really bring you into a better relationship with him, taking it to another level. Some people can do a level one, um, as my pastor would say, a level one, you know, they, they, can, they can recite a passage or recite a prayer. Okay, they can rehearse it, they can recite it, they can write it down. 
and it sounds great. Some people are level two. They can do it off the cuff and, you know, they're like, okay, yeah, I'm having a conversation, but there's another level when you really enter in. And my prayer, my hope is that in your reading this book, you will enter into that new level with God, that your relationship is, oh, I'm talking to my father. Oh, he loves me so much. Oh, I can pour out my heart. Oh, I can say whatever I want to say because he's listening attentively. So I want you to go ahead and sign up for that. I will put the link in the chat. Haven't put it together yet, but let's just do prayer register. Yeah, go to my website, shantahaines.com backslash prayer dash register. Yes. Or maybe P register. Okay, let me work on that. I want to make it short and sweet for you. But prayer, prayer one, maybe prayer one. Yeah. Prayer one, let's do that. Prayer one. We're going to do that. Prayer one. All right, so I'm going to put that out there. It'll be a registration page. I'll notify you. One of the things that I really love to do is to be able to share some of the work as soon as it comes out with those that are part of my tribe. And you're part of my tribe, you're part of my family. I want to make sure that I share it with you. And in sharing it with you, that means that I give you an opportunity to get a free download. And so we all like things for free, but yes, we do want to support and we do want to, um, to purchase as well. So I'm going to give you that opportunity as well. But if you are uh, definitely a big digital fan, this would be something that you would probably want to get into. Now, let me not say probably, you will definitely want to be a part of this. I'm telling you, God is shaping this book completely different than what I thought. It is not just a teaching tool. And I've taught principles of prayer and there are different types of prayer. It is not like that. It is not as academic as you would think. It does have a lot of information within it that you will be able to take, but it ultimately is going to take your prayer life to that next level. Have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless and get some dessert today. And as you're eating that dessert, think about the graciousness of God, how he gives you what you didn't deserve. And maybe he'll take away some of those extra calories we might pick up today too. Have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless.